institutions, um, institution, institutionalizing dengue disease prevention and control program requiring 16 barangays to strengthen the fight against dengue and other AIDS born viral diseases. So that is being implemented. The city ordinance has been disseminated to the 16 barangays because we have 16 and we informed our barangay captains, barangay kagawads, and also our CHO city health officer in fact is here, um, Dr. Himmer Kos. Um, so right now what we're doing is to continue spagging misting in every barangay, in every sitio. Um, so that's what we're doing with the help of the medical officers, BHW, the barangay health workers. We also have the OV trapping and monitoring of mosquitoes to make sure that we um, eliminate um, the mosquitoes who are dengue prone. And also um, health teaching. We go to different barangays, to different sitios um, to educate our residents um, through the help of our city health officer, the barangay health workers, um, the, um, health workers to disseminate information with regard to prevention and control program when it comes to how to address um, dengue problem in our city. At, at present, we have 143 dengue cases um, from January to June 25. So this is actually 44% lower compared to last year. Oh. Yeah, it's 44. Last Although, year, mas, uh, higher. Last year, mga 200. 44% lower. 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 Compared to last so, year. So, mas bumaba. Mas, 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 mas bumaba. Oh, bumaba. Uh -huh. Although the case has increased for the past several months, yes, but compared to last year, it's lesser uh -huh. of the same month. Uh -huh. Pero meron sa, sa numbers na yan, meron po bang namatay? Dr. Himalcos is our city health officer. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Was June. So yung yung city health government ginagawa na rin po yung 4S, yes. na po dati sa mga barangay. The self protection, no? Uh, natin ang, ang mga ang mga nanay, mga anak na na magsuot ng mga mahabang long sleeve o kaya yung mga repellent para maiwasa at makagat ng mosquito. Especially this coming school year, the jurisdiction of City of Paranaque to allow students to wear light-colored long sleeve shirts and jogging pants or long pants while in school as a preventive measure against the year. Ngayon kasi pag-ula na po, bukod yes. sa dengue, ano po yung ginagawa nating paghahanda? Kasi hindi lang naman po dengue yung pwede nating makuha sa kita. Yeah, sa we have wild. Yeah, the wild. Oh, yes. Is, Dr. Kos can explain. We have the wild, that. no? Wild acronym. Uh, wild acronym. Uh, that, the W stands for uh, influenza. And, and for the L, it stands for leptospirosis. And for the D, it's dengue. So, uh, siyempre pag waterboard, dapat natin ano, um, panatilihin na malinis ang ating iniinom sa bahay no lalo na kasi pamilya ang ating mga anak at sa sa lahat ng mga sa ating mga uh, establishment kaya nagkakaroon tayo, tayo ng mga ng mga water sampling no ginagawa ng ating sanidad ng uh, monitoring no supervising na malinis ang ating mga tubig na iniinom pangalawa dun sa sa sa, sa influenza like diseases kailangan talaga na napakaganda talaga na, na nagsusuot tayo ng mga mask until now no at talagang hindi lang naman yung mga influenza lahat pati yung mga yung mga airborne diseases like um, uh, tuberculosis no so lahat yung napipagbent natin at yung uh, dapat mana mapanatili ang paghuhugas ng kamay din no yung for the leptospirosis we have na ano we have the antibiotic no yung ating tinatawag na doxycycline marami tayong ano marami tayong mga gamot sa ating health centers no sa tulong ng ating mayor na very supportive sa 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 pagbibigay ng, ng tulong sa bawat uh, sa bawat sa bawat barangay. So hindi na so, para Kenyos, to make sure they clean their surroundings um special against the um dengue uh, prevention and control like stagnant waters, sa mga gutters, um like um mga gulong o sa potted plants, sa vase. So make sure they change the water from the vase or to have a new uh, uh, clean water, um, clean levels of the environment. Tapos, um, in the, on behalf of the city government of Paranaque, we're doing our best to help out, of course, um, as I have mentioned, 
a while ago with regard to fogging, misting, you see the four S you mentioned about the OV trapping. Other issues, or Jojo Sikat from Malaysia again, I'm going to take this offline. Sir, regarding po dun sa suggestion na mandatory booster sa mga, ano, sa mga, kasi malapit na As of now, it's not mandatory. Yes. It's not based from the DOH and IATF rulings. Okay. Yeah, it's not yet mandatory. It's compulsory. Compos but we mandatory. encourage, of course, our residents. In fact, more than 160% of our Paranya Kenyans have been fully vaccinated. However, the booster for the first booster shot, it's only 41%. And then for the second, less than 8%, if I'm not mistaken. So the concern here is the booster shot among adults. So many uh, are not yet um, uh, convinced to get boost booster shots. So that's a challenge for our city, government of Paranaque, through information dissemination, that they have to get the booster shots because the effectivity of the vaccination, they will wane off uh, for a certain number of months. So you need to get booster It's like having a flu vaccine. You need to get the shot on a yearly basis. So similar to this case against COVID-19, so it doesn't mean once you are fully vaccinated, you're good for life. No, you need to get booster shots. So um, that's our concern right now. Many are still not getting their booster shots. But at present, um, as I mentioned, 41% for the first booster shot have been vaccinated. Yes. So that the 5 to 11 will get their vaccination, first vaccination soon. But the priority are the immunocompromised children. Okay. Then the rest will follow soon. So any message to encourage our presidency in Paranaque to go to... The yeah, uh, so my fellow Paranaqueños, I would like to make an appeal to, to to you guys to get your booster shot. It's free and it's accessible. We have that in different health centers, in 16 barangays. We have that also in hospital, uh, our public hospital, Hospital ng Paranaque 1. Hospital ng Paranaque 2. We also have that in certain pharmacy, Watson in SMBF, SM um, Bikutan. So it is available, it is accessible. All you have to do is just go to your barangay and make sure you know the schedule. When will it, when can you get your vaccination? Because the vaccines are very much available. It's for for you guys to to get vaccinated. So I clamor for you, for my fellow Paranya Kenyans to get the booster shots as soon as possible. For you for your safety, for the for the safety of the city of Paranya. Plan, but not yet finalized because it's going to be BC come August 21. I believe that's the start of the public school classes. So uh -huh. we're contemplating to have a trabant to ease the traffic along the major thoroughfares in the city of Paranaque. So there's a plan to do that. Uh -huh. Plan, yes, uh -huh. to, to resume the trabant in the city of Paranaque. So may lumalabas na advisory o memorandum mayor doon sa MMDA, eh, nakapost doon sa MMDA na epektibo ngayong araw. We will have to work on that, consider that, but we will still have to study. Not yet implemented here in the city. Mm. Galing sa parking bureau, Mayor. Yes. Uh -huh. But we're planning to do that, especially... Uh -huh. Plano pa lang? Yes, for, uh -huh. for the start of classes come August 20th. Uh -huh. Mayor, yung nakapag... Oh, oh, kasi we have 110,000 public school students from kindergarten all the way to grade 12. So each student study in public school, only in public school, they get 500 pesos monthly allowance a total of 5,000 pesos every school year because you multiply it by 10 months in one school year so that's 5,000 you multiply it by 110,000 students that's close to 600 million pesos every year that we budget to provide them allowance yeah, so we're one of the few cities in the Philippines um, to offer um, monthly 500 pesos monthly allowance from kindergarten all the way to grade 12 first year in June Mayor I'm first sorry? student yung 500. I'm sorry? Five, first student yung 500. Para student po. Para Each student is mm. given 5,000 pesos every school year mm. and 500 pesos monthly allowance. Kaya na po yun na implement dito sa Paranaque? Well, three, if I'm not mistaken, it started three years ago. And then, that was only for grade school. And then last year, um, we start, the May, former mayor, my brother, now the congressman, came up with the city or it passed the city council passed a city ordinance um, to include junior high and senior high. So um, this year we're implementing that.
this 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 I mean last year and this school year and the succeeding years to come. Mm -hmm. I will continue. In, in fact, it's already budgeted for 2023. So, walang tinanggal po? Wala. The employees? Um, employees. Uh, some department heads, they were reassigned. Uh, okay. The department heads, some were reassigned. But the staff, they, they remain. As I mentioned to you, they will be assessed within a month. Till July, end of July. So, it's the responsibility of the department heads to assess, evaluate the performances of their staff. And then, most probably, they will be renewed. So that's for the um, August till December. Because if you're casual, um, JO, job order, you are renewed every six months, right? Yes. Uh, if you're permanent, no need for that because yes. you're, uh, you're regular permanent. So they will renew, but it is de uh, depends on the assessment of the Yes, performance. but I talk to most of them. Most of them, they will renew. If ever, um, there are some cases um, that they need to work on with regard to the perf they will be reassigned in a different department so they will not be booted out but reassigned especially for those departments that are in their need of staff so that's what we're doing yeah sir do you Dito sa... That, that's the reason why we have this assessment. Uh -huh. um, they um, they will check if they are overstaffed, understaffed. So if ever they are overstaffed, they will be assigned, those employees that will be identified by the department will be reassigned to those other offices that are understaffed, who are in their need of those uh, manpower. So they will not be booted out, but reassigned. With regard to the staff, it's the, before the end of July, but most probably um, they will be renewed the month. I just, um, we just want to make sure that the department head concerns should assess and evaluate um, their respective employees. That's very important. Since it's a transition. Yes. Mayor and Congressman in the district in district mark, he did well um, as the city mayor in the city of Paranya. In fact, um Paranya is very liquid right now and um, twenty five thousand business establishment establishments are being housed here in the city of Paranyate. We don't have any we're debt free. Um, so welcome to the in uh, Salamba bank or any banks or any suppliers or contractors so and we have um, we have two public hospitals we have two city colleges we have 46 school campuses in the basic education so I'm more on and I listen I always listen which my brother also also do um, so listen I'm because no one's perfect so I make mistakes also so I'm open to constructive criticisms and I always listen, I'm always eager to learn things. Yeah. Mag-iba ko ng traffic. Mayor kasi yung DOH, 